I just had my shortest MMA fight yet. But when I stopped to think about it, it all started 5 years ago, when I decided to try out my Aikido skills in a sparring match against an MMA fighter. Long story short, I got my ass kicked and realized that the martial art that I practiced for 13 years did not teach me how to fight or defend myself. But that brought me on a journey to learn MMA with the dream to have a full on MMA cage fight myself. After training for 6 months daily, I was finally ready to have my first fight. And unfortunately, I lost by a split decision. Wanting to make up for the loss, I decided to continue to train hard and moved to Ireland to train with professional fighters for 2 months. Yet just before my second fight, I hurt my ankle and had to cancel the fight. Training so much in such a short period of time made me burn myself out and stop practicing martial arts for the first time in my life. Yet after a year's break, I decided to train again and finally, I was ready to have my second MMA fight once more. The training camp was better than ever. My cardio and physical condition were at their peak. Yet after the last training session before the fight, I suddenly started to feel one of my feet going numb. Turns out, just a week before the fight, I pinched a nerve in my spine that not only made my foot go numb, but also cramped up my entire leg and the situation wasn't getting better. I couldn't sit and I had a difficult time sleeping because of the pain. For a moment, I thought that all is lost. I will have to cancel my second fight again. I wrote to my MMA coach Oliver Enkamp that my fight is on the line, yet he told me not to give up, that sometimes a warrior endures pain and fights despite of it, because that is the victory against yourself. I was inspired by Oliver's words and decided to commit to the fight despite the injury. I was also able to find a great doctor who fixed up my spine and said that it was safe for me to fight. The problem though was that my whole leg was still numb and cramped up, but I was still ready to fight. I came to Sweden where the fight was going to happen wearing a corset and avoiding sitting as much as possible. And eventually the fight night came about. I was about to face an opponent who was even taller than myself and of whom I knew very little. But I didn't care about that. As I was warming up, instead I was thinking about how much this fight means to me. It was the climax and culmination of 5 years of effort, of victories and losses. And I decided that I will do whatever it takes to win this time. The round began and I jumped into the fight. I went into the center of the cage quickly to take the space. I then clipped my opponent with the right. We then went for an exchange trying to find our reach, both being challenged by the fact that we're so tall. I then checked a kick and responded with my own, knocking him off balance and using that moment to add a couple of strikes. I kept faking with my teeps, trying to keep him on his toes. My opponent then cut an angle and clipped me with a jab. He then went in for another 1-2, but then I kept striking back to not let him pressure me. I then started to consider taking things to the ground, expecting that maybe I'll have an advantage there. Once he clipped me again and turned his side, I tried to use the moment to go for a single leg unsuccessfully. The problem was that I heard rumors that my opponent is less experienced than me and was surprised to have an even striking match with him, driving me to want to take things to the ground even more. And so once he got a couple of shots in, I used an opportunity to go for a single leg. I tried to take him down a couple of times, but he kept holding his balance, so eventually, I pushed him to the cage. But that's when things turned against me. My opponent used my exposed head to push his arm into my neck while being pressed to the cage. I was taken to the ground with his arm as deep into my neck as it gets, so I tried to shake him off while defending his hooks from a turtle position. No matter what I did though, his arm was just stuck there, so I dropped on the side to put pressure on his leg, trying to escape this way. My opponent started choking me out and I was already losing my ability to breathe, but I kept fighting. As soon as I got a moment to breathe some air, I did, and then continued to fight trying to pull his arm off. Again and again, it seemed that he's about to choke me out, but I was not ready to give up and kept fighting nonetheless with everything I've got, trying to shake him off again and eventually trying to use the cage to push myself out of his hole. Yet no matter what I did, his choke was getting deeper and deeper until eventually I couldn't breathe at all anymore and had to tap out. I was sitting there realizing that I just lost yet again. Thoughts were rushing through my mind and most of them were doubts. I started asking myself, maybe this is a sign that fighting competitively is not for me. Maybe I'm just not good enough for it. 
After all, I trained so hard and for so long and still lost the fight. But then as soon as I left the octagon, I began doing what I always do. I immediately started asking for feedback to learn from my experience as much as I can. Starting with my coach, then discussing the fight with my opponent, and then talking to other fighters and coaches, asking them for their advice. And the more I spoke to them, the more I realized that this is not a sign for me to stop. In fact, it is the opposite. One of the fighters, Aydin Akbar, told me how he lost his first five boxing matches. But then, things eventually clicked and he had a winning streak of a dozen fights. And everyone I spoke to emphasized that as you begin your career as an amateur fighter, you have to keep fighting, no matter if you win or lose, because that is how you really gain experience, and that the losses don't define you. And so I came out of my second fight disappointed, but stronger and even more committed to continue my martial arts journey by training even harder and smarter and continuing to fight as long as I need to until I will learn the lessons that I need to learn.